citizens. And um, I guarantee you they're going to be listening carefully with everything we say and we'll be taking cues from all the decisions we make as adults. So um, approximately four months ago, I saw the first article uh, how Nestle was attempting to bottle more water for our water aquifers. Um, this time via Seven Springs Water Company. It was at this point that I kept seeing comments and recurring questions like, what can we do to stop Nestle? Uh, it was then that I decided to start a petition to change our work. In four months over 80,000 people have signed my petition and it has been shared on social media almost 15,000 times in four months. And it's not stopping. People are concerned and will continue to be concerned. Nowhere in history have we been able to control Mother Nature to such an extent that hasn't caused suffering somehow or some way to the people that live in the area or the ecosystems that depend on it to survive and thrive. Sure, technically, groundwater is a renewable resource, but unsustainable, unsustainable rates of groundwater extraction can deplete reserves faster than they can be replenished by rain, snow, surface water, whatever. As groundwater levels drop, streams, rivers, and the aquatic ecosystems depend on these waters and suffer tremendous and sometimes irreversible losses. Studies by the Independent Group of Forest Springs Institute show the flow of the Santa Fe is down by 28% from historical levels, which I don't think is anything new to anybody here today. It's a fact that overpumping can cause water levels to decrease, water quality to deteriorate, as well as local wells to run dry. That last part scares me. So I ask all of you this after your calculations are made and all the science is sound. Please, I beg you all, come, use common sense in the equation. Not allow Nestle the opportunity to take any more water from our board offers. The springs are our children's heritage and inheritance. Why should we give this away to Nestle to control and sell back? 